Okay, uh, I'm checking my uh, my 12 volt battery bank here. I've uh, been having a bit of a problem equalizing my batteries. And upon checking it again this morning, I got my hydrometer out and I've been checking the cells one by one. And you can see here, this one is uh, clearly it's all the way down here in the red. And actually, this cell here is the one I suspected. This battery here is the first one I bought. It's a different style from the rest of the other three. And uh, you really can't see down in the cells too good. But down in this one, it looks like it's uh, gathered up with some uh, stuff between the plates. See now that's to the top of the green. Barely to the top of the green. And again, you come over here to this one. I mean, look at that. That's as dead as it gets. Now, the other day I was equalizing, <clears throat> and I unhooked this battery, and all of a sudden the other batteries say that's green. So we obviously got a bad cell there, and I couldn't get these to uh, get up to my normal 15.2, which just wouldn't do it. And I unhooked this battery, and then bang, these went right up, just perfectly. So I've suspected this battery of giving me some issues since I bought it. Say the rest are just perfect. Always something. Now if we go over here to this uh, battery, you watch it come right up in the green. For some of that. What the heck is going on here now? There it is. This hydrometer, I've got my doubts about this thing. I just tested this battery prior to getting the camera out, and every cell in this battery was up in the green. See, it's in the green now. See, so all the other batteries are good. And then again, if you come over here to this cell which has now got some nice hot juice in it. Pull it up again and look at that. Barely comes off the red. So, my suspicions were uh, confirmed. See, and the rest almost hit the green. So, if you got one bad cell, the battery's just not going to work. And I just topped these batteries off like four days ago and equalized them after trying to equalize for four days. And I just had to top this battery off again. So, I got that uh, hydrometer. I also have another site. We got another one down in the garage. This is the one with the, uh, the little pointer. Looks like I could have took a little bit of care of it. Let's see what this one tells us. Yeah, this one tells us your battery's junk, see? Down here in the red. So, both of these are singing the same tune. And this one always reads a little higher. See how it goes right off the chart on the good? And believe it or not, I actually trust this one more than I trust that DECA tube tester, which is the same company that made the batteries, but, you know, of course they're all made in China. See, off the chart. So, yeah, we got a bad cell. Yep, doesn't need move at all. So, there you have it. Two different types of uh, battery testers. It's a unanimous decision here. Got a bad battery. Now, what happened is I bought this battery in July of 2011. And they only had one in stock. And I think three days later, they got the two more batteries down from Port St. Lucie, Florida. And they were the newest style here with the handles. And the, in, the interior setup, I don't know if you can see what it looks like in there. Very handy little Harbor Freight light. But anyway, so you can actually see the, see the cells. 
to do here. I'm trying to look through a camera on a tripod. And then this old style battery, older style, has those lead pieces. You can't, it doesn't show up on the camera, but there's a lead bar going right across that, and you can't see the cells. But you can see it's different than the other three. So anyway, let's confirm my suspicions. I, uh, I keep notes up here on my everything I do, and I've been having a problem. And uh, I came back in and I checked my wires because uh, Orlin put up a, a video yesterday about his wires on his charge controller, so I went and checked mine just to make sure. And all my uh, connections are crimped and then soldered, so they're fine. So anyway, uh, I do have a bad battery, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. July, these will be two years old, so. But I obviously got to get a new battery because that was no good, so it's going to screw up the bank. I may just eliminate it. All right, so that's my update on my my battery bank, and uh, that's a little cost honey bear bottle which I use to put my water in. Quite handy for free after you use the honey. So there it is. I found the problem. And if you've got a bad battery in your battery bank, uh, you're kind of screwed because the rest of it just won't work. So maybe if someone else is having a problem, they can run this little test themselves. But uh, I could never get over 14.8 volts on Equalize. And I tried it for three days and then I unhooked this wire to isolate this battery from the rest of these three and then all of a sudden uh, my charge controller shot straight up into uh, 15 2 and equalized so ripped up all right anyway I uh, found my problem with my battery bank and that was it okay that's it